Hey guys, this is Brandon with USF1, coming to you with the final episode, episode number 10 of Know the Grid series. And obviously we're going to be talking about the final team, Mercedes. Hey guys, Mercedes can trace its motor racing involvement back to the pioneering days of the original Grand Prix at the start of the 20th century. In the years leading up to the World War II, the German government pumped money into Mercedes and rivals Auto Union to build the most technically advanced racing machines the world has ever seen. After the war, it wasn't until the mid-50s that German teams were allowed to compete again. When Mercedes returned, it picked up where it had left off. Juan Manuel Fangigo, Fangigo, I think it's French, I mean uh, French or Spanish, so Fangio moves to the team from Maserati partway through 1954 and won the world title. Fangio won a second title when, when joined by Sterling Moss in 1955, but the team's sports car effort was withdrawn from the Le Mans 24-hour race that year after one of his drivers, Pierre LeVay, crashed into the crowd. LeVay and over 80 spectators were killed, tragically. Mercedes withdrew from all motor racing competition and did not return until the 1980s. It wasn't until 1993 that Mercedes' name was seen again in Formula 1. As an engine supplier to Sauber, it switched teams to McLaren and won championships with them in 1998, 1999, and 2008. A last-minute deal to supply the Braun team with engines in 2009 led to, led to wins in both the Drivers' and Constructors' championships. It also paved the way for Mercedes to return to the sport as a full constructor in 2010 after it took over the team. The team enticed Michael Schumacher back from retirement to drive for them, but it was Nico Rosberg who scored their first comeback win in China in 2012. Lewis Hamilton replaced Michael Schumacher for the 2013 season, and the following year, the wisdom of that move became clear. Mercedes pre prepared perfectly for Formula 1's new area of V6 hybrid turbo power engines. In a 19-race campaign, the team dominated the championship, taking 18 pole positions and 16 wins. Of those, 11 were scored by Hamilton, who also won his second driver's title. As you can tell, Mercedes has a long history of championships. Lewis Hamilton also su succeeded that with a 2014 driver's championship and Mercedes constructor's championship. 2015, Lewis Hamilton also won the driver's championship and Mercedes took the constructor's championship. In 2016, Nico Rosberg took, took the driver's championship who then retired, but Lewis Hamilton came in second to him. And Mercedes also took the Constructors' Championship. Their, their current drivers will obviously be Lewis Hamilton. And, do, and just today, Valtteri Bottas will be the number two driver for Mercedes. But yeah, guys, that's it for the Know the Grid series. I think I'm going to be coming up with some new ideas. Stay tuned for those. Until then, guys, subscribe if you're new to be, stay, uh, be tuned in to what I'm doing. Like this, like this video, like the series, like all of them, educate yourself. But yeah, guys, I'm Brandon with USF1, your source of Formula 1 news here in North America. Take care.